Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. I'm doing some fishing and once I catch something, we're going to make some sweet and sour fish. It's going to be incredibly delicious. Down here by the river, by the waterfall, just incredibly gorgeous. So stick with us and let me walk you through this. Oops, got a bit of a snag here, but I'm sure I'm going to get one. So we're going to kick things off here by making the sauce. And what I've got is a cup of pineapple juice. And if you don't have pineapple juice, you can just use water, but I like pineapple juice. Two tablespoons of ketchup. A couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. You can use white sugar too if you like. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. A couple of tablespoons of vinegar and a tablespoon of cornstarch and a whisking we will go while I'm whisking here I'm going to add some pepper I love pepper now what I have here is some haddock I've cubed up but you can use any kind of fish like cod, tilapia, whatever you got on hand what I'm going to do here is beat an egg and pour it over the fish the fish like this and gently mix this up and you want to be gentle because you don't want to squish the fish actually that kind of rhymes squish the fish by the way why do fish not like basketball because they're afraid of the net okay now what we're going to do is grab up the fish and dredge it in some cornstarch then we'll just set it aside. What I have here is about two inches of vegetable oil. I'm going to heat this to about 350 degrees. Now the oil is ready. I'm going to slip the fish in. And we're just going to fry this until it's golden brown. Now they're beautifully crispy golden brown. Just look at this. I'm just going to take them out of the pan and set them aside. Alrighty then, in a separate pan, I'm going to add a bit of oil and put in some red bell pepper, green bell pepper, half a small onion, a thumb-sized ginger, and some pineapple. And I'm just going to toss these up until they're tender crisp. Oh, these smell so good. Now they're tender crisp, I'm going to pour in the sauce and just kind of stir it up until it thickens. Now it's thickened up, it smells so good. I'm just going to kill the heat. I'm just going to set them aside on a serving plate. Now what I'm going to do here is pour this delicious goodness sauce. Oh my goodness guys, this is going to be so good. You can also mix the fish fillets with the sauce. But you know, it might become a little soggy, so I kind of like it this way. But there you have it, guys, our sweet and sour fish fillets. Absolutely delicious. So let's give this a taste test. Mmm. This is so good. The fish is so tender. The sweet and sour sauce, the veggies. I just love it. You've got to make this. For the full recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com. All kinds of great recipes there. Give us a thumbs up. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time.